pop, pop, pop. Did you see that story about that cat, Jake? Yes, I did. Are you a cat person? I, I forget. I forget your bio. You know, you guys are gonna make fun of me for this. <laughs> if you, no, I'm not. No, I'm not really. a cat. Person. I'm not like a. That's fine. I don't have dogs. I don't have cats. I have kids. The I've dog thing, about we this. have a problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you guys don't mind enough cats. Talk, we talked about this, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're not like anti-cat. No, I'm not anti-cat. I had no. cats growing up. You know, I, yeah, I had cats growing up, but I don't have any right okay. now. I don't plan on getting any. So when this cat, when the cat went missing from its owners, from a home there in Minnesota back in July, somehow making it 1,500 miles back to Monroe, Washington, just doesn't The last time she all. saw Finn was in early July, and she believes that someone must have picked him up a couple miles from her Minnesota home. Turns out that person moved here to Washington, and it seems like Finn was there for the ride until he was found right here on the street in Monroe last weekend. You got in trouble, dude. You... You are so far away. It's that playful kitty charm that landed Finn in the arms of Stephanie Metke last Saturday. Finn was found in a very industrial part of uh, Monroe where we were not really sure how he ended up there. Metke knew right away that this wasn't his home. With a harness and microchip on, her first instinct was to figure out where he came from. Put the chip number into Pet Finder, whichever website it was, and they're like, oh, his name is Finn. He's, you know, this many years old. He weighs this much. And I was like, Tell the owner. And nine minutes later, she called me nine minutes later. Leah Hasbargan was relieved to find out her fur baby Finn was found. Sounds bad, but I was assuming for the worst, but I was hopeful. But couldn't believe where he ended up. I was just so happy he was alive and, you know, someone found him. And until she was like, oh, he's in Washington. I was like, wait, what? Hasbargan tells me he. Now, now the thing is, who's paying to fly the cat home? Well, the lady, obviously, if she loves her cat, she's got to pay for it to get home, right? Uh, not the, not the girl like, well, that rescued you know, him. 12 oh, years. Can't, can't be the rescue of the lady who rescued Yeah, I agree with no, you, Joe. No, not, not the lady rescued. No, I mean, the, will the owner go, uh, I think I think Finn's pretty happy there. <laughs> Went missing yeah. from their Minnesota home about two months ago. She says yeah. he's an indoor-outdoor cat that never strayed far. He might have just wandered off, okay. and or she might have found him on the road or something. Well, after. Yeah, and, and maybe he'll maybe he'll wander back <laughs> rather than spending the money on the airfare. Just Let him out. that's the way Finn is. He he he's a wandering cat. He'll find <laughs> his way a home. Fifteen hundred mile road trip. She's glad that it was Matt Key who took him in. My heart is just like screaming of joy for how how amazing she treats him. And he should stay. ten seconds left. The question <laughs> is, does she in ten seconds does she mention she's flying the cat home? Do we get a resolution on the story or not? I'm gonna bet no. I agree with you. I don't think so. Joe? Joe? Yes. No, wait a minute. Have you already heard the ending from putting the story well, of in? Of course I did. Yeah. You know okay, she okay. sends me videos every day and pictures, and oh, makes me so excited to see him. When Finn finally makes the journey back home, Hasbargan says he'll strictly be an inside cat. Is she going to fly him, or is she nope. just going to like send him UPS or right. something? <laughs> Yes. Can you do that? How do you think he got there? Do you think he just he just was like sitting on a warm car and he woke up? Like fell asleep Somebody on a car? Somebody picked him up, sent him home. I remember when we were little kids and we had this great little cat and my mom took the cat in and the cat, the doctor's like, well, he's got this and that. He's got cancer here and there. It's oh. pretty much through his whole body. What we can do is we can do chemo with some radiation and we can do this and do that. And my mom said, how much How much do you think it's all going to be? I mean, my sister tells the story because she was more conscious of all this sort of stuff. And he's like, well, you know, uh, probably like eight, 8,000, maybe, I think fit the number was. And my mom goes, okay, guys, wait outside for a second. I just need to talk to Dr. Cousins. <laughs> and I think she said to Dr. Cousins, yeah, we're not spending that for this cat. So, uh, yeah, bye-bye. Rainbow Bridge. What was, what was the cat's name? <laughs> I cannot for the life of me remember the oh, cat's no, name. Oh, no, I didn't mean to put you on the cat. spot. Oh, wow. Was it, it was uh, an orange cat? I mean, he's orange. And oh, his we, name was uh, Pumpkin. Go, obviously. Pumpkin. No, no, I don't remember. My mom or my sister named him. We had Morris. We had not Morris the cat, Morris the mouse. We had Fred the mouse, Freddy the... They all ended up getting the same name. Did, they get, did they get taxidermied like the rabbit? was Milkshake. Milkshake. Milkshake, the stupidest name you could possibly imagine for a cat. Okay, yeah. Milkshake. Poor little Milkshake. So he was oh, gone, yeah. right? He, he just 
How long after he did was he? was heading there. We just sped him up a little bit. Okay. That's all. $8,000 is a lot to save an old cat's life. I mean, what are you going to do? Honestly, it's dollars and cents, folks. Thank you, Jake. Thank you. Thank you. Like this cat. Like, who's who's paying the, the cat go home? I love cats, believe me, but we didn't hear that the lady's going to spend the money to fly it home. We just All we know is that she's just can't wait to she's see it. She's excited to see him someday in the future, possibly. Right. More Facebook photos of him. Uh, there's uh, Nate right over there. I'm excited to see him. No one's flying him anymore.